hi my loves welcome welcome back to another video welcome back to the stars cartel channel if you don't know i am star okay and i did twist my head around a little bit but that's okay no my okay i'm here with another message for you guys let's get into it okay so in this dream i heard someone say it's just a piece of paper and i know in my heart that the piece of paper this person was talking about is a marriage certificate and this is a situation where maybe you have been waiting on someone to pop the question and they have been dragging their feet with it and they have been telling you, well, it's just a piece of paper. We don't really need to get married. It's okay. Dot, 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 dot. And I'm going to start off by saying it is just a piece of paper. It is a part of the matrix system. However, it is also a sign of commitment. It is a sign of how much you truly love someone. And, you know, you have to go out your way to get married. You have to go out your way to plan a wedding. You have to go out your way to announce a wedding. You have to go out your way to announce an engagement. You have to go out your way to shop for a ring. And as someone who has at least taken a few of those steps, I can tell you that it does change things for the better. Um, and it can, if the relationship is not meant to be, it will change things for the worse. And I'm going to elaborate on that. It hurt more when, um, it hurts more when someone cheats on you and they are wearing the ring that you went out of your way to save up for, go out and buy and, you know, put on their finger. It hurts more than someone that's just a boyfriend or that's just a friend, um, Marriage is when you are married to someone that is yours, okay, and you are theirs, and it means something, okay. The scripture God gave me comes from Psalm 48 Great is the Lord and most worthy of praise in the city of our God, his holy mountain, beautiful in its loftiness, the joy of the whole earth, like the heights of Zaphon is Mount Zion, the city of the great king. God is in her citadels. He has shown himself to be her fortress. When the kings joined forces, when they advanced together, they saw her and were astounded. They fled in terror. Trembling seized them there, pain like that of a woman in labor. You destroyed them like ships of Tarshish, shattered by the east wind. As we have heard, so we have seen. In the city of the Lord Almighty, in the city of our God, God makes her secure forever. I feel like with this scripture and my bookmark says the sun shines brighter and the flowers smell better just because I thought of you. Oh. Y'all, this fits <laughs> because it's more than just a piece of paper. It's the thought, the thought that you took out your time, effort and energy to get her a ring. The time that you took out your time, effort and energy to make plans. And you know, the song Matrimony, I'm thinking about that song by Usher and um, Wale. That song is beautiful because in reality, when a man really loves a woman, he will make those plans. He will put forth that effort because he feels like he don't want to see her with nobody else. I'll be, you know what, if I see you with somebody else. I'm going to make sure you mind right now. You know what I'm saying? I know y'all know what I'm talking about. I've been making plans. Oh, love. I've been making plans for you. And Wale goes into depth talking about how um, it's hard. He knows. And, you know, especially as a man that's a rapper or any kind of man, you know, that got all these women chasing behind them, they know the pressure that they have on them. And nine out of 10, they know that the woman they choose is bad. Okay, she bad. She bad and she fine. Okay, and he know that just like he got women chasing after him, it's men chasing after her. 
And it means a lot for a man to take out the time to pop the question, to take out the time to get a ring, to take out the time to go down and start making those plans, filling out that paperwork, go and hire a priest, go and, um, it takes a lot, okay? And the other side says, God's love and kindness will shine up on us like the sun that rises in the sky. I feel like with this side, God is saying he shines his love and his shine, His light up on a new couple, up on a, a man that takes that next step to decide to make a woman his wife. It means something. And it means more than just messing around with whoever just because and she messing around with all these men. You know, it's fun in your 20s. It may be fun in your 30s, but eventually you're going to get tired. You're going to get tired of messing with these scallywags. You're going to get tired of the riffraff and you're going to want you a wife. You're going to want to come home to a clean house. You're going to want to come home to a cooked meal. You're going to want to come home to somebody and you know they're yours. You know they haven't been running the streets. You're going to be tired of people calling that girl phone, blowing her up. You're going to be tired. And I feel like with this scripture, God is saying that he blesses us when we get married. Okay? God makes her secure forever. This is about security. And it's not just, you know... I get it. Yes, sometimes you can get married and there may be a divorce and, you know, you may feel like you're insecure all over again. However, did you take the steps? You know, when you when you end up with the right person, divorce isn't even a question. Divorce isn't even an option. Um, when you are with the right person, it doesn't matter how bad it gets. You will do any and everything you can to ensure and you know what i had watched this video um yesterday about a hundred year old man that came um sat down and gave off 50 quotes about real love and you know real love is not it doesn't mean that this person is gonna be perfect and they're not gonna get on your nerves it means they're gonna get on your nerves but you love them so much you're gonna allow them to you love them so much that the little annoying things they do, you just, you know, you ignore it. It don't matter. You know, okay. You know, uh, uh, you, 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 uh, shaking your, it's okay. You, you, you chew on your nails. Okay, fine. You know, you, you like to play in your hair. All right. I got it. Okay. Um, it's just like those little things that usually, you would get upset, you would get annoyed and, you know, talk too much, you talk too much. But at the same time, it's going to be one person that's going to want to hear all your stories and they're going to sit there. It don't matter what the story is about. It don't matter how bad it gets. It don't matter how you look or you are perceived from that story. That person is going to love you because they love you just for you. Okay, God says that he will sit as the citadel in this marriage. God says his hand will be, he will look over this marriage. Sometimes people get married and they allow any and everybody else to put their input on what should be going on in their marriage. No, I don't care who it is. They should not wear a hat in that marriage. Um, What was the name of that movie by T.D. Jakes? It was a movie where it was a couple and I believe his, uh, her mother was driving him crazy. Her mother put her mouth and everything that they had going on in their marriage, every aspect of their marriage made him feel less of a man, made him feel like he didn't belong. And you don't do that. But And it's not to say that we don't love the parents. Yeah, you should love your in-laws. You should get along with your in-laws. And that's definitely something to take into account. If you don't get along with your in-laws in the relationship, you sure ain't going to get along with them during a the marriage. And you don't want to deal with that. But I'm talking about you, uh, one of the spouses allowing their parents to have an input on a two-party situation. The video I posted yesterday is still valid. No marriage is supposed to include three people. No marriage should include four people. I understand mama and papa, they love you. Yeah, they're giving you advice, but they may be giving you advice and it's heading you down a lonely path because ain't nobody finna deal with that. Nobody wants to deal with that. Nobody wants to deal with um, having to feel like they don't have their own say-so in their life, in their marriage, and it's not fun. 
However, if God is showing himself in the fortress, okay, God is in her citadels, he has shown himself to be her fortress, then the wedding, the marriage will, it will fit, it will match because God will make sure you end up with somebody that you are truly supposed to be with. When the kings join, join forces, when they advanced together, they saw her and were astounded and they fled in terror. This is saying that God has somebody for you. The person that you are meant to be with, it is going to be such a stronghold. You're going to fit so perfectly together that any little thoughts trying to come around, they will run. They will flee from your connection because it's too strong. They don't compare. And, you know, um, it's a difference between everybody can give out the watch. Everybody can bend it over. Everybody can do all that. I'm sorry for getting into that on this video. It is what it is, but I'm being real. Anybody can spread their legs, but not everybody is going to be there in the middle of the night when you wake up and you, you, you don't know what to, you don't know what's going on. You need somebody to talk to. Everybody is not going to be there when you sick. And you know, you know how men get when they sick. Men you act like babies when they sick. Some men, I'm not going to say all of them, but some men act like big old babies. And every woman is not going to sit there and hold your hand and feed you and make you some fresh soup. And, and nah, but a wife will. And, you know, I just feel like great, <laughs> great is the Lord and most worthy of praise. In the city of our God, his holy mountain, God is saying that you have to put him first and you, once you put him first, everything else will fall into line. Okay. You can't put everybody else before your marriage. You cannot put everything else before your union. When God sends you somebody, um, it is a good thing. Okay. A man that finds a wife, it is a good. Okay. It is not bad. It's not to hurt you. It's not to hold you back. You know, I feel like um, whomever this person is, they feel as though, yeah, they, they know it's a piece of paper, but they're saying that because they feel as though it is going to hold them down or it's going to hold them back. And in some cases, I feel like if somebody is coming like this, they feel like you're not for them. They feel like it's something better. And if it's something better, then let it go. It is what it is. Because if they feel like they got something better, guess what? You sure better believe that you got something better too. It's, some, it's going to be somebody for everybody. Nobody is going to be left uh, lonely and sad and depressed just because the person they were with decided they wanted to be with somebody else unless you choose to. Because I am I bet you, bottom dollar, that God is going to send you somebody, okay? God will send you someone. God will send someone that will love you. God will send someone that's not going to see it as a piece of paper. God is going to send someone that will not see it as in, well, you can have any ring. Let me get you the cheap one. Let me get you this. Let me go here and just grab you something real. God will send somebody that's going to go to the nicest uh, store and pick out rings and sit there with their family, with their friends and, and talk. And, you know, it's, it's bigger than this. Okay. And, you know, I'm sorry to whoever is having to deal with this foolery. Well, somebody is sitting up there saying that being married to you is just a piece of paper. They are lying to you. They are lying to you and they are trying to keep you there and hold you there until they figure out who they really want to be with. And that's the truth of the matter. But God does not see that for you. God wants you to be with somebody that loves you. God wants you to be with somebody that is going to eventually, they are going to see you and instantly know that you are the one. They are going to see you and instantly know this person is going to be my wife. This is the person for me. They're going to send, God is going to send you somebody that is just going to know, like, instantly. They, it's, and you know, I, I did research on how a man chooses his wife. And do you know, a man knows within 15 minutes how he is going to pursue a relationship. He knows already instantly he knows if he is going to make you a girlfriend you're just going to be a side piece if you're going to be a wife or if you're just going to be a friend they know immediately and i'm saying this to say if after a certain amount of time the person that you with don't start talking about marriage if after a certain amount of time the person that you with is still saying they're not ready they're not the one and you know i really thought this was going to be 
a good uh prophecy but i feel like in a sense it is a good prophecy because god is saying i have somebody for you it's just not that person because it is more than a piece of paper it's more than that it's more than a ring it's more than that this is a companion for life this is somebody that you will be able to live your life out with this is somebody to grow old with this is somebody you when you come together it says when two kings when kings have joined forces, when they advance together, you are joining forces with this person. Your family and their family are now connected. In the past, when two powerful families wanted to become one, they would find children to marry each other. It's more than that. And you are going to advance with this person. You grow with this person. This is not just something um, that you just do to, just because why not? I'm bored. Let's go. No, this is serious. And, you know, um, what is his name? Dr. Miles Monroe. Before I went off to uh, get engaged, I was watching videos by Dr. Miles Monroe about marriage. Marriage is serious business. It is not um, what it has now been perceived to be. Um, it is more than that. And, you know, I don't know who this is for. But God is saying it's more than that. Maybe you are in a relationship with someone and they keep on saying it's just a piece of paper. They don't feel like it. They don't want to. Let them figure it out on their own. And it's okay. If they're meant to be with you, they will come for you. They will find you. They will, you know, God will send that person sleepless nights. They will feel as though they can't sleep without you. They can't get no rest without you. They can't eat. They can't drink. They don't know what they're going to do because they cannot live without you. But if that person does not come back, don't see it as in you're bad or you don't know what to do or it's a punishment. That just wasn't for you. But the person that can't, they can't, they don't, they don't know where to pick up. They don't know how to get themselves back together. They can't think, they can't eat, they don't know what to do. That's the person for you. And um, yeah, that's the message. <sighs> that's the message. Thank you guys for watching. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Deuces.